What's up everybody, it's Beagle. I'm gonna share with you some of my skate hoard today. Some of the shit I collected throughout the years that is sentimental to me. Come, let's have a look. This right here is actually brand new. It's my dog, Murdy the Dog's pro skateboard for Shake Junt. Murdy the Dog, just doing what he does, riding downstairs, little girls, getting, that, getting the photo shot uh, with, with the phones. And I love that board, it's one of my favorites. It's a, it's a sick Ellington Baker board when Ellington wrote for Baker. It's actually the second one that he made like this of the Bottle series. But yeah, this has got pretty much like a lot of the riders and what they would like to drink. Reynolds, he got the, the like Starbucks coffee. At that time, I was drinking a lot of malt liquor, a lot of uh, Mickey's 40 ounces. So he did the right thing. He put me on the, the Mickey's bottle, the Eagles. Fine malt liquor. This right here is actually one of the only skateboards that I actually um, put my artwork on. This is artwork collected from when I was in high school and I wasn't paying attention in class too much. I was just drawing dreams of, of sequences that some people actually ended up doing later on in life. Grind transfer off a freeway. I think Greco did that actually eventually. Benny Hanna off of a car like a bump off the back window. A lot of sick shit in there. You gotta really uh, look for it though. This is a Shake Junk uh, board, Guest Pro uh, model. This is the rock band that we're in. We actually haven't played in like at least four years, but it's called The Goat and the occasional others. And this is the, the Goat board that Baker put out, Shane Heil. This is uh, one of his pro boards when he was pro for Baker. This right here is Black Jesus, Antoine Dixon. Very gifted individual. This is one of my favorite boards, amazing. This is the good homie, Dathan Ostrander. We call him D. This was his Baker board. Isle of Dobbs. Instead of a movie they made, Isle of Dogs, it's Isle of Dobbs, because his na uh, dog's name is Dobby. And I was hyped, because that's one of Murdy's first uh, guest boards, too. So we got Murdy, CJ's dog, little Drew, Dobby, and Murdy. So that's priceless to me. This is actually my first board that Baker released that I actually made some royalties off of. Confuse some people, like, is Beagle Pro? Technically, no, I'm not pro. Like, oh, he might be pro, he got a board, whatever. But this is the first one. And that came out in, um, I think, 2006. Very happy about that. Thank you, Andrew, for making that happen, man. It's awesome. And then we followed, uh, followed it up with um, another Beagle board about, like, a year later. I think Andrew told me, like, hey, we'll give you another board. Just think of something that you want. And I called Neckface and I said, hey, man, I was kind of picturing, like, a cartoon I'm like, can you like make like maybe myself with like some like some Hennessy and some blunts? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I got you, I got you. And he just made it as simple as possible. He's like, blunts, booze, beagle. And I was like, shit, that's not what I had in mind, but fuck, yeah, if you like it, hell yeah, let's run it. Sick, man. This is, um, I think, most likely my third board. I used to love Wiener Snitchel. I don't eat it so much anymore. I'm a little more careful with what I what I eat with the red meat now, but that's me as a hot dog with some fine wine. I drank a lot of wine at that time too. <laughs> Went from malt liquor to wine over the years, so you know. This is actually, this is one of my favorite boards. It's a lot of thought into this. Baker Boys artist at the time, Brian Romero, designed this. He did a great job. It's basically myself as a trophy on top of a, a bass drum, because I play the drums, and there's some margaritas, I love margaritas, um, on top of uh, spliffs. That's my preference to smoke now, went from blunts to spliffs. Um, with the VX, some wheels, and it's, um, this is called, I don't know if you can see it here, but this is an, a trophy for the highest filmer. Not the best filmer, that wouldn't be, I don't know if that'd be correct, but I might be the highest filmer. I'm not going to argue with that. A lot of times I'm, you know, filming, smoking to, to help get the angles, get that, that, uh, that go the golden angle, you know, a little smoking here and there. So I might be the highest filmer. This is a limited edition. They only made two of these. The Barracks did a, a red camera project. That was actually Murdy the Dog's first uh, video part. So that's uh, a rare one right there. Those are the ones that made the cut to the wall. 
But I do have a couple other boards I'd like to share that I just can't throw away. I just can't let go. If I have a bigger wall one day, I'll probably put these up. Yeah, so this is a really random, made by Colt 45 malt liquor, a Juicy J skateboard. And it's golden and got Juicy J, golden zipper and shit. Really cool. Gold teeth. Memphis style. He's one of my favorite rappers. One of the founders of the 3-6 Mafia. Very tight. Colt 45 grip tape. Trevor, who works at Baker, he knew that I would like this. He, he saved one for myself. This, I don't think I could ever sell because it's shaped like a fucking 40 ounce. It's super rare. But, um, yeah, this is a uh, Death Wish Cruiser board. Low life instead of high life. Looks refreshing. Tasty. The bubbles. Mmm, delicious. Oh shit. oh, shit. Okay, this is another Shake Junt classic cruiser. It's supposed to just be the skate tank that we drove for years. It's basically a, a white Ford van E350 that we called the skate tank. But the board came empty, um, just empty seats. And it came with all these stickers of, of us, like a lot of Shake Junt riders. And you could just place the stickers however you want to. So that was kind of fun. I got myself uh, driving, which I usually was, with a donut, some chicken wings lingering. That's uh, one of the homies passed out, probably D, playing a video game. I think that's Miley Cyrus. I don't know how she ended up in there. Other random homies, CJ, you could tell. That's him. Got my dog, Murdy, laying on the seat. And then um, got the old homegirl, uh, Crystal Clear. She's holding it down. So there's the skate tank. Uh, cruiser board, love that. So cool. Skate tank right there, shake jump. Cater's first board. This just came out maybe a less than a year ago. My good friend that I grew up skating with, Reno, he actually started the, the company Dog. This is his first, one of his first boards. He's got Stanford's artwork from Stanford University because he kind of lived by there and skated there a lot. So got the Reno skateboard. Congrats, Reno. Very proud of you. This is one of these classic Baker Street signs. Maybe about like, I think maybe 15 years ago I got this. We actually had on two separate occasions, kids deliver us these street signs that say Baker. So I kept one of them for the house. This is pretty sentimental. This is a Beagle Ritaville artwork. Basically on the King of the Road. I think it was the first uh, season on Vice TV. They had us all meet up at the Pink Hotel in Burbank. They had asked me to serve margaritas there to all the skaters, which I was really happy because I love margaritas. So the uh, Shake John artist at the time made that. So Beagle Ritaville. Now I could just keep it forever in the house. I love that. Great artwork. Love margaritas, man. This was given to me by somebody um, at a, a baker signing in um, Oregon, in Portland, Oregon. And I think they actually um, DM me on Instagram a couple years back, like, hey, you still got that shit? But yep, here it is. Still got it. Any kids out there giving me artwork and shit, and definitely gonna keep it forever. It means a lot. Thank you. Many DV tapes that I filmed on my VX camera from the year 99 to even today. I still use the VX here and there. These are all the fucking tapes. They're all in Tupperware. A1, and then like A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, to A99, and then B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. If I have to dig up something, they're all pretty much in order. So there's about 300 tapes in each of these little Tupperwares. Missing some tapes here. C20, C, I don't know why that is. It's unfortunate though. If someone's like, Beagle, can you dig up that, uh, that uh, big spin I did back in uh, 2002 or something, I'm like, yeah, okay, give me a moment. Give me actually maybe two days. Let me just flip through some shit. And this is what I do. I just go in here, grab the log books. Ah. 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 Grab these log books here. You can just flip open a random, just anything random. Let me just see. I almost guarantee that I'll find some kind of hijinks. This is funny. Jim claims backside lip shove redondo. And in parentheses or whatever it says, 
Beagle reminds him not to. Also in here, we got a, a lot of CDs. These, uh, most of these CDs are really important, but the most important CDs I kept in this book, it's, this is the 3-6 Mafia Bible. It's basically almost every single 3-6 Mafia CD, Project Pad, any solo artist that is in the 3-6 Mafia, I definitely bought it. And um, this is, you got the um, underground 3-6, one, two, three, live by your rep. Then you go and then these are the actual 3-6 Mafia um, platinum albums that they made. When the Smoke Clears, this is actually the first 3-6 uh, Mafia CD that I ever heard back in uh, 2000, I think it was. And it was that, uh, sipping on some scissor, sip, sipping on some, that was the first song I ever heard. And it was like, wow, these fools are so tight, man. They all got their own style and they even had like chopped and screwed versions of the soul albums behind the soul albums. Very influential music that kind of helped motivate uh, us to skate too, you know, just be driving, just listen to 3-6 and just be like, they're just talking about like, I'd rather die soldier. And you're just like, damn, let's get it. Let's hug it. Let's go. 3-6 Mafia. This is a, a collage, some artwork that I did with the 3-6 Mafia uh, CDs I bought. I would like cut out the rappers, DJ Paul, Juicy J, Frazier Boy, Lord Infamous, whoever, I would cut them all out and just make a sick collage. And there they are, just so gangster. Here's Gangsta Boo, cut her out. She's doing her thing over there. And then when I actually met Gangsta Boo, I had her sign this. She said, two beagle, one love. Gangsta Boo, much love, homie. Got Gangsta Boo, chilling. She's so cool. This is like a... Um, a Polaroid that maybe a Tiba shot for a focus or something of a uh, perm doing a front feeble in Palmdale. At that time, they weren't using digital cameras or something, so they would take a photo just to see if it's in focus, and then I would keep that photo. Like, and this is a uh, sinner Pat Pasquale doing a, I think switch pop revert down this ten, or at least trying it there. There's Antoine switch frontside flip down a uh, Hawthorne 12 there's a photo of me at the Huntington Beach skate park back in the day two very important things to start the day a gallon of water and a muffin this is me doing the Polaroid actually for uh, Atiba again Muska was no sliding that hubba that day and Atiba said like Beagle let me get a focus so I'm like okay what would Muska look like you know boom no slide that's me what grade was this? Fourth grade. Huh. There I am there. The pink TNC surf and sport shirt. Super bad posture back then too. Very bad posture. This is one of the skate tank ads. They made the best ads. Uh, the Shake Gent skate tank video is always really fun and action packed. Here we are falling out of the sky. I'm still filming them. Riding the van. Nuge with little geezer, his dog. And uh, there's Lizard. Haha, <laughs> we're all just flying out the sky. This is uh, one of my first photos uh, with just uh, one of those disposable cameras. This is a heel flip. I don't know if I landed it, but you could see I had mob forever, even on heel flips. Pretty mob, feet pretty close, nearly clicking before catching the trick. Oh shit. I used to collect photos and magazines and posters where I was in the background. I think he did this in 99. Andrew Blunt slide that tall hubba in Irvine. There I am, just filming fisheye. Rocking the Guy Mariano actions. I love those kicks. Jeremy Ray. Very inspiring Jeremy Ray when I was growing up. He was like one of the first superhumans that I acknowledged skateboarding. One of my first little like interviews or whatever from Transworld actually. I only used TRV 900s. I did use a VX 1000. And then I just went back to the 900, and I had two of them. I had two nines, and um, that's kind of hijinks to me because there was, like, one of my favorite rappers, uh, Juicy J on, from 3-6 Mafia, would, would brag about using two nines, like two 9mm guns or whatever. But I'm like, shit, I got two nines too, man. Got the two, the two Sony <laughs> TRV 900s. 
a lot of other, you know, they had the 1,000, the 2,000. I was like, man, I just need two nines, dude. Boom, boom, boom. Tripod, fisheye, what? Boom. Man, I don't know who took this photo. It was some guy that we met at the Huntington Skate Park. And I think he was just hyping it up like, hey, I'm, I'm so-and-so from this magazine. And, uh, yeah, man, if you want to take any photos today. And I was like, damn, I would think I was... 16 years old and I was like damn there's, there's this roof down the street I'll ollie off this roof I think it'd be a sick photo biggest mistake I ever made this is when I learned that I'm not invincible and this is a split second before kicking my board out and landing on my back foot toe down like a ballerina and crack just dislocated my back ankle a split second after this photo was shot. But look at how rocky and mob that was anyway. And you can even see on my shoe, I'm like losing the the sole, like I'm losing grip on these Dr. J Converse. So it was just all just a terrible idea. Should not have been doing that. Some old English sticker. It's the tiger. Like I said, big malt liquor fan. This is a random plate that I found. Oh, carrot. And then he's like, ah, like drum, because he's the drummer too. So drumming, carrots, watermelon, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But right here, he looks so much like the sinner to me, the homie, Pat Pasquale. So I'm like, essential, uh, a duck it, a bless it. I'm a very big Schwarzenegger fan. So I saw the, the opportunity to uh, become Schwarzenegger from Terminator 2. And they just morphed my face onto this. And there it is. Everybody get down. Get to the chopper. This is like the first sequence ever shot of myself. And this, I think, was in the year um, 2000. Uh, Jay Strickland actually shot this. And it's actually me doing what I love to do, those grinding tables. Damn, it's crazy. It's a really good sequence that he took. And he wasn't really shooting photos at the time, too. So this was just a little experimental sequence. Really hyped on this right away, too. Nose grind. Still knows, man. Front side 180 out of the table. Yep. I think that might have been first try. Anyway, I love doing that. Front side nose grinds tables. Because the table is just so smooth. It's not crunchy. You could just coast on a nose grind. So this is really funny. This is actually like a, a mock-up of like a, a comic idea that I had back in the day. And this is actually a true story. I thought this might be like a reoccurring thing like I could maybe preach lessons of life through hijinks little comics we called it the code of the junt frame one this is an actual uh, event that occurred I was filming Reno backside over crook a ledge over a gap just doing our thing that we do and number two the homie that we don't skate with much um, just kind of pops up and he's like hey can I get you guys some tall cans you know, and Reno, of course, is like, Coors Light, brother. And I'm like, gee, I'll take a juice. Because at that time, juice, it's like four loco. It's like at the time, it's a 12% uh, malt liquor with energy. We'd always celebrate after we filmed tricks by drinking like a juice. And just like, you just get like turned up and shit. So, and so the homie goes, thinking he's helping us out by going to get us some tall cans. He, he goes, he gets the tall cans. He ollies up a curb in frame four with the tall cans, not even thinking anything of it. So he delivers us the, the tall cans right after Reno lands his trick. So I'm like, oh, and Reno's like, G code. He always said that when we get hyped. And then there, there's the homie with the tall cans. Here, guys. So we're all psyched, like, oh, perfect time to celebrate. And I open, the, the, open up my juice. It just sprayed all over me. So there I am opening the, the, the juice. Purple juice, grape juice, purple psh, all over me. God damn! I said, did you ollie up a curb with that juice? I could just tell it must have been shaken up. He's like, yeah, why? I'm like, this is fucking why. So I got juice all over me and shit and message. Don't ollie with the homie's tall can. That's just super inconsiderate. These are some set lists from the GOAT when we played some shows. We played a lot of shows from like 2007 to 2015. Kibitz Room in the Hollywood show. Damn, we played a lot of fucking songs that night. I would keep this set list on the ground 
when I was playing the drums and I would just look down and be like, oh, okay, which, what's next, what's next? KYS, kill yourself is next. Bathroom blow, bitches in the bathroom doing blow. That was a hit, everybody loved that song. Oh my gosh. One of my first Shake Junk ads, and this is actually my car that I had until recently. It was my dream car I had from 2010 till just last year. And then there's the homegirl, uh, Crystal Clear, there's our friend. And um, yeah, there's me just getting the angle with the Shake Junk camera out the window in the caddy, margaritas, gotta have the margarita, gotta have some chickens, love that ad. This is like happy hour sunglasses collection. This is one of my first shades. I made, damn, pretty tight, man. Love these little, like, I always like the, like, aviator style shades. Like, just at the time, too, when I had the fro, it's just, like, round. I'm, like, more of a round shade guy, you know? Like, the square shades, I can't pull off. I'll, I'll give you an example right now. This just is not my style. I mean, cool shades, but just the square, I just, no. There's a few skate videos that I've saved skateboard videos, death wish video, shake Chun video. Definitely videos that I filmed things in, I would definitely save these forever. And then these are actually VHS, just like footage tapes, like after like a day of filming, like back in the day, I would put the VX to VHS so that we could watch it like at home, like over and over, like see what we filmed. This is like a full length video I made. We called our crew Phylum back in the day. Uh, Phylum skate videos. I actually made five full length videos just editing uh, VCR to VCR. And then here's some more collector's videos Big Brother videos, Side Unseen. A lot of people don't know, but I actually filmed a lot of uh, Heath Kirchhardt's part in this Side Unseen video. This shows some of my first work as a filmer besides being in a Baker video. Jay Strickland had worked closely with Heath because they, he worked for Birdhouse. So he definitely trusted Jay. And this is like when I first started filming, Jay said, he's like, hey, like Heath, I got this other filmer, Beagle, you know, he's just gonna come get a backup angle. I was able to film um, Long Lens, a lot of the stuff that he did. So I filmed maybe like 10 tricks from this video part, but there's one particular trick that I could not find. I, it was like my log sheets failed me. Like I, I, like I filmed on the end of a tape and I forgot to write down like Heath, gap to backside lip slide, double set rail. I just, I didn't write it down. Transworld needed all the footage. Heath was kind of tripping. He's like, yo, like where's Beagle's angle, this gap back lip, like I need this shit. And then finally Jay was like, look, Beagle. He like, <laughs> we're in this little Baker office uh, back in the day. And he basically like locked me in there. He's like, Beagle, you're gonna stay in here all fucking night, go through every tape you have to go through, I don't care, but that angle exists and you're gonna find it tonight no matter what. You're not leaving till you find it. And somehow that night, I think it only took me maybe a half hour to an hour and I finally found it. And I called Jay on the phone and I was like, dude, I found it, I found the, the back lip. And he was so psyched, he was like, no way. He's like, guess what? He's like, we're going to the strip club tonight. And I was like, whoa, I'd never been to a strip club uh, before then. And so that was my first time uh, I was treated to go to a strip club because I found the angle of Heath's gap back lip. Shit. Oh man, here's some more old tapes and shit. Some more, uh, oh look, there we are, V41, R47 to V41, still got some tapes. Some tight posters that I just could not let go of. The Antoine Nolly Heel, Carlsbad poster, Antoine, and that was from a fish eye. I think he did that second try. You could see the talent. Look at his arms. Look right there, hasn't even caught yet. Arms all the way down. Just down, 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 down. Just hands basically in his pockets. Nolly heel flipping Carlsbad. This right here is probably one of the greatest posters that we ever had. 
And it was everybody that came along on this the 2011 uh, Baker Deathwish tour. And, and everyone's got a, everyone kind of looks a little bit Asian from this artist. So it's kind of funny. There I am there. Kind of looking a little Asian there. <laughs> Big, yeah. Everybody looks really cool. Oh! And this is my, my dog. One of my first pro skater friends I ever met. Till this day, good friend of mine, Brad Hayes. And he rode for Lethal Skateboards at that time. So there's Hayes doing a really tall 5-0. Very inspirational skater. Always looked up to him and his manual skills. The Shake Chun t-shirt that I released to go with the board that, uh, the Shake Chun board, the, it's called the Duke of Hijinks. But there's the sequence that I actually drew in high school that they printed on a t-shirt. Kickflip off a three stories to the ground. That's a really cool Shake Chun shirt right there. That old uh, Sammy Baca t-shirt. Baker, Sammy Baca, with the Chucks. Pretty cool. Here's another, a shirt of mine with the, the Beagle Snitchel. I could never get away with like wearing my own t-shirt. It's kind of hard, but, so I just saved these just forever. My personal Baker shirt here, Beagle Snitchel. The Beagle uh, face shake jump shirt. Still never wore that either. This is a homie um, I met through Instagram. We haven't met in person yet, um, Corey Niff. I believe he's in Illinois. He's somewhere in the, the middle of the country, but he's a great artist. This is the first painting of myself that uh, he sent me. Um, it's kind of based off that uh, that Shake Junk uh, shirt that I had. It's kind of similar to that right there. The little film or die, a little inspiration he got right there. But anyway, nice little trippy, acidy type of painting there. This might be the second one. Another painting that he made of myself. Pretty hijinks with the High Life. I do love High Life, Miller High Life. I really like this one. I mean, because it's got the the Shake Junk camera and it's like third eye style. Which it's cool, it's kind of like the camera is a third eye. Love your art, Niff, thank you very much. This is one of the only tech decks I saved. I'm actually on this tech deck, but it is Andrew frontside flipping a 17 stair that he landed. And if you see, I'm right there on the side filming fisheye. So technically, I'm on a tech deck out there somewhere. This is just so cool, man. This is, this is a company that still makes this purple wax, but they got the, uh, the, the cup with the, uh, the purple uh, syrup. Sipping on some scissor wax with even some wax ice cubes. Super tight. I'll never, I mean... They make a lot of these, so I could use it, but I don't want to. It's like so much thought and just creativity into this. I'm going to save this forever. Purple wax. Much love. Oh, yeah, this is tight, man. A lot of people haven't seen this, but this is a chicken bone promo that came with some Americas. But it's like a sick little 12-minute uh, montage. Really cool. There's Herm Dog with the shotgun tray flipping. <laughs> Got the goat on vinyl here. I actually don't have a record player, but... Pretty cool to have. Ah, Baker 3 DVD. Baker has a death wish. Very special DVDs right here. Yeah, this is my dummy. They still make this actually, but this is my uh, current filmer wheel that dummy wheels released. Here's one of the TRVs. Yep, here it is though, TRV. Just so small with a big screen. Really cool, love this camera, wow. In the beginning of the uh, Baker Acid Death Wish video, the very beginning of it, there's a scene of me like on the floor of my apartment slicing off the front end of this camera. I needed to get the fisheye off the camera, but so what happens is this camera, you know, you, you, you had the, the heavy ass fisheye on this light camera, and if the lens ever got hit, the whole front end would come off. So this is what I would do is just super glue the front end of it on and sometimes the lens would get super glued on too so I would have to try to remove the lens without removing the whole front end some more fisheye lenses this is probably a mark 2 lens mark 2 is garbage the mark 1 mark 1 was the best that's ah, pretty crispy 
And there's the fucking OG. Ah, OG VX1000 Shake Junt. Very special, very motivational. You film in, they see this camera, they're like, oh man, this is gonna get in a Shake Junt video, let's go. It's been restored, it's in great condition now. It's rare that people, um, or, or projects that I film for need VX footage, but when they do, I got it. I still got you. I can still do this. I know how to use this still. Trust me. A Crunchy VX2000. You never know. You might need like a, a cable or a ribbon or a screen or something. I just couldn't throw it away. So some more cr uh, Crunchy VXs here. Dude, I just got this shit the other night. This is going to be my first time using it, but whew, this is the updated Shake Junt HVX. My friend that made the, that painted the VX back in the day, this is his first HVX project. I'm honored to have it. It's so crispy. Green and yellow, Shake Junt. I'm gonna be uh, working on a new uh, Shake Junt uh, full length video is coming out soon, so sometime next year. So anyway, it's gonna help set it off. Shake Junt vibes. I got this on a, um, a tour in uh, Florida a year ago. Somebody made this, I think, and wood shop, Stephen Brandle, period one, two beagle. So thoughtful. This is some hoard right here. This is some shit that wifey is not very happy about. Just like, what? do you really need all this shit? I'm like, damn, you just never know. It's like just so sentimental, you know? This is when Theotis turned pro at the Trans World video premiere in 2011. And everyone just had these and got on stage and turned pro and everyone was just like, oh, <laughs> It was like, yeah, Dio, Dio's pro, pro as fuck, yeah, 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 yeah. Dio, pro as fuck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, that night I blacked out. I blacked out that night. I was so turned up for Theo turning pro. So psyched on that. Shake Junt belt buckles. We got these customized. I still got one. Shake Junt belt buckle. It's really rare. This is one of my first signature cruiser wheels. It was gonna be put out by Hubba Wheels. This is a sample of it. They got the Shake Junt vibes, um, film or die. Pretty cool artwork that they came up with. I tested these and they're just a little too hard. Like I could almost like skirt on them, like power slide almost. I'm like, ooh, no, I need a, a cruiser wheel that's really soft. But this was gonna be a Beagle Hubba wheel. Never came out. Baker released these filmer wheels to go with the uh, highest filmer board. Also came out with some wheels, uh, with the margaritas and uh, VX, some mushrooms right there and shit. Just the highest filmer, you know, joint and stuff. So yeah, I had my highest filmer uh, wheels. It's like the color of a margarita too. I love that. This um, a homie back in the day got me this belt buckle. Maybe one day I'll wear this again. <laughs> Pretty cool. This is another uh, from somebody on a, on a Baker uh, demo. Just, I don't even know what this is really. Like a horn maybe, like an antler? Baker Tour 15. Sick little carved out antler. If you, if you see this, I'm collecting this shit. If you bring shit to the demos and you're like, Beagle, I got this artwork. I'm not going to throw it away. It means a lot. I'm always going to have this shit. It's hijinks. Thank you. But this is my uh, tassel from when I graduated high school at Huntington Beach High School. I actually did pass. I did get my uh, high school diploma. So this is my tassel right here. Just to remind me, I made it. So this is like a limited edition Herm Brian Herman shoe. It's the G-Code shoe, but it's a shake junt uh, shoe. This is like, man, I don't know if... If I could ever wear this or, or anything, but so crispy. What's up, haters? <laughs> wow, this is a damn good shoe that Herman designed. It's just so sick. Just shake junk all over the place. Another great piece of history that America made is the GOAT and the occasional other shoe, our rock group. We actually had our own America shoe, and it's pretty swagged out. This is called a, a cruiser shoe. But we got the uh, the goat, Lud Ass Shit. That's one of our first songs we ever made, Lud Ass Shit. 
wow, that is just such a sentimental shoe. I don't know if I'll ever be able to wear that shit. It's fucking classy, though. The way I see it, life is packed with a lot of hijinks. You know, you don't want to risk forgetting any memories. So if there's something sentimental that's physical, that could re-spark a memory, like, oh my God, it's like, there's a good chance you might not ever remember that moment unless you were to see physically like, oh shit, that happened too. And it's also just a reassurance like, is it all a dream? Is this all just a fantasy? It's like, no, this did happen. That right there tells me <laughs> that it happened. So it reassures me that I lived through these moments. And um, yeah, and it's just a sacrifice for like a couple shoe boxes some Tupperware, you know, whatever. It's a small sacrifice for great memories. I love skateboard.